What's up guys? Welcome back to Ghosts Games. Welcome back to another SAO IF video. And in today's video, we are continuing our fan theory crafting or whatever um, about who the or one of the main villains of this bat of this uh, game would be and uh, the main boss fight of this game. Um, you know, if you didn't watch the video last time, go watch that and then come back and watch this one because they're going to build on top of one another. But I'll give you guys a second here to go ahead and do all that. Warning, this video may contain spoilers for the anime and, and the, the manga and all that stuff. So you've been warned. Three, two, one. We're going to get into this. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button, subscribing if you guys are new, all that fun stuff. And let's talk about Koharu. All right, so why do I want to talk about Koharu? If you guys did not see the last video, like I said, go watch it. Koharu, in my theory, is controlled by Akihiko Kayaba and would be one of the final bosses in this game. Now, here is where we're going to dive further into the theory that I have. So as we progress through the game, there are choices that they ask us different things that we have to decide on how we want to react in the game as of right now they have no weight in the game excuse me <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that there's no weight in the game to our decisions they mean nothing right now but if you've noticed i don't know if you guys have noticed this or not on some decisions not all of them some decisions there's a good choice and a bad choice. If you make a bad choice, this screen will lightly flash red along the edges, indicating that you made a bad choice or a bad decision that people did not agree with, or specifically, maybe Koharu did not agree with. <laughs> Why is that important for my theory? Well, it's important for my theory because as we go through the game, we're going to make these decisions. And if Koharu is going to be one of the final bosses in the game, your decisions would impact your final fight at the end of your story. Now, I mentioned this before in the previous video. This game is your story. It's not Kirito's story. It's your story. That's why we have our own characters. The story follows us and Koharu. Yes, the other characters are involved in the game. Yes, they play a major role in the game, but... It is your story as the main character and that is very important because you make the decisions to how your character will react now what happens if you choose to skip somebody brought that up to me well the what happens is the game will automatically choose for you the decision now it'll be completely random you don't know because you hit skip so it might be the good choice might be the bad choice you won't know until you reach the end of the game in my theory. Now, going towards the end of the game, depending on the decisions you made, okay, will determine the outcome of what happens from this point forward. We reach the we reach floor 100. Kayaba is standing there, or you know Heathcliff or whatever, whatever form they want to put him. If they want to put him as Heathcliff or they want to put him as Akihiko Kayaba, doesn't matter. <laughs> He's standing there. We're not in a... So when we reach floor 100, because the way that the um, the way that Aincrad is designed, it starts off small, it gets larger, and then it goes back smaller. Okay, so by the time we reach floor 100, it's not really like there's nothing there. It's probably just the boss room. Okay, so we reach floor 100, we go to the boss fight, or, or the boss room, and Akihiko Kayaba is there waiting for us on floor 100. We go, we start the fight, and halfway through the fight, he stops the fight in similar fashion to a lot of jrpgs you go and you fight a boss fight and there's multiple boss phases to that boss fight so why should this be an exception so we go and fight akihiko kayaba and it's a one-on-one -on -one fight okay he challenges you to a one-on-one -on -one fight similar to how kirito fought him in the anime okay so because this is your story or our story Kirito and company will not fight, or if they do fight, they lost, and now it's up to you to defeat him. So you go and you fight him. Halfway through the fight, he stops the fight. And as he stops the fight, Koharu then comes up, puts her hand on your shoulder or on your chest, 
and tells you and, and, and says, I got this. And, you know, however she's going to say it, like, don't worry, let me do this. But she's not talking to you. She's talking to Akihiko Kayaba. And right there is the twist. Because at that moment, she draws her weapon on you. And that begins your next fight. Probably the most important fight in this game. Because the entire game, you have been with Koharu. And she has now betrayed you. And at that moment, in sure enough fashion to Japanese anime and all that stuff, your character asks why. That's the only bubble it gives you. It says why and you click on it and then Ko uh, koharu then proceeds to tell you that she is akihiko kayaba and then akihiko kayaba then says i have been controlling her the entire time i have been with you this entire time monitoring your progress seeing how you fight seeing how you interact with everybody i have been using you as my experiment and and so now he has Koharu, who you now have an attachment with because you've been with her for all this time. He now has you and Koharu fight to the death. Well, at this point, you fight Koharu and you defeat her. And at the end of that fight, you are given two choices. To let Koharu live or to kill her. And your decision at that point will then be influenced by your choices in the game. Now, from this point forward, I'm not going to say what happens if you kill her. Because I'm going to save that for another video or else these videos will be too long. At this point, I'm going to tell you what happens if you let her live. Sort of. Because I'm not going to go into full detail on that either because there's more to it for my fan theory. So, at this point, if we're going to decide to let her live. Well, if you made good decisions the entire time, then Koharu, if you let her live, will stand up and fight by your side to defeat Kayaba. But, if you've made poor decisions the entire game, Koharu will stand up and scorn you for letting her live, saying that was a mistake. And she will join Kayaba. And now you have to fight a two-on-one fight. Because of the poor decisions that you made. And to make matters worse. If you skip the story like I do. Then it will be completely random. As to which ending you will get by letting her live. Now that is in my opinion an awesome turn of events. I, I feel like I would have so much fun with that. And because that's not even the full ending yet because then what happens if you were to kill her what happens if you know if you it, like what happens after you beat akihiko kayaba does she disappear because she's part of the game she's not a real player she is a ai like yui speaking of yui where's yui where is yui in this theory where does she fall into place in this theory how will she affect things we're going to have to wait until the next video. I'm having fun with this, guys. This is this is awesome. This is like... The only thing that I actually thought about in the beginning was the fact that I, I theorized... I'm like, okay, Koharu is controlled by Akihiko. It has to be. Kayaba is controlling her. has to. But we went further into the, into the, the fan theory. And I'm going to leave it there. Because... Uh, we're going to go into the next video, and in the next video, we're going to talk about Yui. So, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new, all that fun stuff. Let me know down in the comment section, what do you think about part two of my fan theory here? Because, let's let's face it, this is this is a theory. It's just a theory. Oh, no, that's a different channel, man. I'm not going to take that from somebody else. So, anyways... Thank you so much for watching the video today. Cheers. As you can tell, I'm filming these back to back. I'm wearing the same outfit, drinking the same drink. I haven't even finished it yet. I feel parched. Anyways, thank you so much. Don't forget to comment. I want to know what you guys think of this theory. Now, because these are filmed back to back, 
I'm not really going to be addressing your theories until I finish mine, and then we'll do a video on you guys' theories because I I really want to do that. This is this is fun. This is fun. Anyways, guys, you guys have a great rest of your day or night or whatever time zone you're at. It's late for me. Peace out, guys.